Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, my name is Father John. I'm the pastor at St. John the Evangelist Church in Senum Riches. And a privilege just to come and to pray today. Um, the hope for us is just as we um, mark this street, it reminds us of a way. And uh, streets help us to get to the next point. They often give us the path that we need. And as we come today to remember Rachel, um, I think we can remember many parts of her life that kind of have showed us the way and uh, showed us the way in goodness, in kindness. Um, I was thinking of the day of her funeral and remember preaching about the Good Samaritan and thinking about those many Good Samaritan ways that marked her life. And the hope is that everyone who comes through this, through this place, who sees that sign, is maybe reminded of the same. And so uh, we just begin today in prayer and ask God's blessing upon this place and upon each of us here. And we're just going to use a traditional prayer. It's actually the prayer that's on the back of Rachel's prayer card. And, uh, and this morning as I came across it, um, I said this prayer. And if you know this prayer, I just invite you to pray with me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I just want to thank um, everybody for being here. It does mean a lot to me. And thank you to Dan Panico's office and Ed Romaine's office for putting this together. Uh, I know I miss my daughter every day, but when I wake up now and I get to see this street sign, it's going to give me some sense of comfort, just knowing that she'll never, ever be forgotten. So thank you all. Rachel was a special person. She was a spark that would light a fire in all of us to do better for our community, for ourselves, for our neighbors. She would walk out of that house at 29 Deer Lane and stand here and wait for the bus. Everyone that waits for a school bus at this corner and looks up you'll see the sign of the young lady that stood here like they did. A young lady that was a top scholar. That Newsday was a scholar athlete named by Newsday, was the National Honor Society at the Eastport South Manor High School, was involved in so many things at school and made such a difference in the academic life of that school district. And then graduated and went to Fordham to their school of business where she studied accounting and finance and graduate all of the while from suffering from bone cancer. And at college, she organized colleges against cancer and so many other things to join the fight. And she was still working hard, her energy not drained, when she became an intern for J.P. Morgan. And it was there two years ago on this date that she passed. Father John, he said prayers today, but he used to come over and pray with her so many days. Father, thank you. Today, we're dedicating this street in her honor. So all of those who stand at bus stops, like Rachel did, will remember that a very special person lived here that made a huge difference in so many people's lives. I'm going to turn it over now to our councilman, Dan Panico, to say a few words. Well, thank you, Ed. Thank you, Father. Uh, Rachel, even her, her death is bringing people together, a beautiful person, a beautiful mind, a person who was taken from this earth too early. We don't know why these things happen, but we try to imagine for those who believe that together at one point we will be back together again. Two of Rachel's very good friends are here today and would like to come up and talk about Rachel. And I would invite them up now before we unveil the sign.
We were two of our big group of friends who were lucky enough to be friends with Rachel Ragone. Um, we always think of her with fond memories. We have many laughs here here at her house that she grew up in. I remember getting off the bus with her after school, coming over to do God knows what in her house. <laughs> um, and we just always think of her with good memories, smile and laugh, and hope that she's looking down on us today, smiling, knowing that we're all thinking about her and remembering her. Yeah, Rachel is a perfect example of someone fighting with such grace. And um, she's a reminder every day to stay strong and just the way she handled her life and how hard she worked. And she was just an absolutely the best friend, student, daughter, sister, you name it. She was a wonderful person who we miss all the time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>